Now the day has finally come that we're going to convert our Flex 2 application into a Flex 3 application. Flex 3 was released on Monday and we're very excited to move this application on. Now let me just say a few things. For the most part, I would say 90% of applications are very easily transported from Flex 2 into Flex 3. Though I have had some applications I've worked with that it's become very difficult and there's some reprogramming that has to occur. We won't find that in this case, and so let's go ahead and do that. Now it's really great the way you can work between Flex as far as cutting and pasting. And we're going to bring up Flex 2 right here and actually just cut and paste uh, our MX in the application into Flex 3. So first of all, let's create our Flex 3 over the Rhyme project. So I'm going to go right click New, Flex Project. I'm going to type in Over the Rhyme and hit Finish. If you notice in Flex 3 we also have the ability to create an air application and we'll have a tutorial on that later on in our series. So here's my Over the Rhine and immediately you're going to notice there's a difference between Flex 2 and Flex 3. You see this SRC folder. And our application actually lives in that SRC folder and when we create uh, image folders or asset folders we want to put them in that SRC or source folder. Okay, so let's move on from here. And so we do have basically you know, the typical Flex uh, blank application. Let's bring up our Flex 2 project. We are in Flex 2 now. And here's the last application, part 8, that we are working on. And all I have to do right now is just copy all that code. I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to move back to Flex 3 click on that application and just paste all that code. Well, you might say, well, I'm done. Not quite. You need to start moving all the assets over as well. So let's go back to our Flex 2 application. And in Flex 2 we had a data folder and an images folder. We're going to copy both those folders. So let's just right click and copy. Now we're going to go back to Flex 3. Make sure that you paste these in the SRC folder. If you paste them above, they won't work. So right click and paste. And there's our application. One more thing though. Remember we had built a photo component. So I'm back in Flex 2. Here's my content piece MXML. If you remember, that was the uh, photo application. I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to move Flex 2 out of the way. And I'm going to paste that right into the SRC folder in Flex 3. Let's double click on Over the Rhine to make sure that's selected. And now I'm going to run this program. And let's go ahead and select 800 by 600 to make it the size of the screen. I'll use Sizer to do that. Move this over. Okay, let's hit our accordion and see if our image gallery is there. And there it is. Working great. Our navigation bars are working great as well. So you just moved a Flex Application 2 into a Flex Application 3, and you're ready to rock. Now just real quick here, the export or deployment of files onto the web is going to be a little bit different in Flex 3 than they were in Flex 2, but better, different in a better way, and we'll discuss that in a later tutorial.